As someone who's visually impaired, I highly value independence, the ability to do what I want when I want to. However, sometimes services and designs can be set up in a way to make this very difficult. So this leads me to my new series, Ally Checks, AKA Accessibility Checks, episode 001. Come along with me as I go to my local bowling alley to check out how accessible their setup is. I wanna know if I can find my own lane, if I can input information easily, if there's good lighting, and if I can even see my own score. Let's see if I will give this experience a thumbs up or a thumbs down. My name is Angela and I'm a visually impaired designer. Look at how hard it is to see what lane you're on. I cannot see that I was on lane 14. Here, I'll zoom in for you. Can you see that number? 14. I can see 12 and 13 when I'm zoomed in, but 14 and 15, I cannot read that. So, that's a problem. We were sitting at the wrong table. I couldn't tell which table was assigned to our alley. But before I could bowl, I put on my bowling shoes and I went to find some good bowling balls. Let's see if we can find the right way of seeing the... Okay, so they have numbers that are pretty large. They're not super easy to see, but I can see them well enough just because they're large enough. You know? There's 10 and 12 and 11 here. Dude, you have to have a really big hand in order to use this ball. My hands are so small. I went ahead and grabbed quite a few different weights of bowling balls to try out. Plus, let's be honest, it was fun to get all the colors. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk up so that I can make sure it's right. Next, it was time for me to input our names and get us all set up. The screen was so far away, I could not read it. I had to push buttons and hope that I was doing it correctly, walk up to the screen to check, and then go back to make adjustments or keep inputting information. This got very frustrating. Although the actual input keyboard was high contrast with black text on a white background, which was pretty easy for me to see. And it was helpful that the machine made a beeping noise when you pushed a button to confirm that it worked, since I couldn't visually confirm it. Wait, what happened? What does that say? Welcome to the bowling alley. Show that. You must wear your shoes. Stay behind the foul line and supervise remember. tiny children. Tiny children. By pressing enter or okay. You agree. If you think I can read that, they're crazy. They should have like a monitor here that I can actually see what I'm doing because I cannot see that. Yeah. This was really hard to be able to type in a name. If I was playing by myself, yeah, that would be annoying. This table's so far away. Okay, let's bolt. Oh, we gotta click okay. <laughs> What does that say? Player menu, change scores, next bowler, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You just click a uh, player menu, I guess, so you'll press A. This? Oh, never mind. That's to add players. Uh, Can I just bowl? Oh. Let's try it. <laughs> okay. Regardless of the struggles getting all set up, I still had a lot of fun bowling. I usually can't tell exactly how many pins I've knocked down, but I can generally tell about how many, and then I can look at the screen if I want to see an exact amount. Hey! 
I appreciated that they had lights above the pens, which helped me be able to see the pens a little better, and the lights also helped with my aiming. The scoreboards were very playful, bright, and colorful. They had a lot of visual noise and would change periodically, which can make it a little tricky. Once I got used to the screen, it would then change visually. It would be beneficial if the visual noise was reduced to make it easier to focus on the relevant information. However, overall, the scoreboard had a fairly good color contrast and the scores were in a nice, big, legible font. When I was standing just under the screen, I was able to read our scores, but if I was at our table, I wasn't able to see them. I was pretty happy with my performance. I managed to get a couple spares and even a strike, which is always exciting. All right, so let's talk about my overall experience. There was definitely some struggles with my visual impairment. I was nice. able to do everything, but not with ease, and I needed some adaptions. And for that reason, I'm gonna have to give this experience a thumbs down for accessibility. Will I go back again? Yes. I won't stop going here because of this, but I will do my part to raise awareness and hope that it will improve in the future with this alley and bowling alleys everywhere. No matter who you are, disabled or not, we can work together to make this world a more accessible place. Thank you for listening to my experience. That is a great place to start.